It is very difficult to talk about love. Only because when I say that word, it has a different meaning for everyone. I can't simply talk about love and expect everyone who is listening to be on the same page. Many people have never felt truly loved. Many think they know what it is. I'm going to ask you to set aside your ideas about what love is for a moment and let us examine it together. The first kind of love we will talk about briefly is natural love. That is the love we are familiar with from our parents, our spouses, what we see on television, hear in various love songs and read about in books of which have been written of extensively. Natural love implies the kind of love that exists in the world that humans commonly share. Many of us know of selfish love. It involves a person that seemingly loves you, but only for selfish motives, for something he or she can get out of you. You will hear it when people say, I love my wife because of the way she makes me feel. You see, I love you, but my true love is for myself. It is the kind of emotions and importance you give me that I love. It is what I can get out of you for my benefit. I often hear that people appear to be loving by buying your love with money and gifts. I give you these gifts, I give you this money, and from the outside, I appear very loving. Just look at what I'm doing for you. But my real intentions for lavishing gifts and money on you are not because my soul adores you or that I am truly and deeply thankful for you, but secretly, I love the feeling that I get. I only love you as long as you dance to my tune. I love the attention I get after I give you the gift. I love the honor I get from people. I enjoy the attention I receive after giving you the gift. I appreciate the recognition I receive from others. And by giving you this gift, I hope that you will comply with my rules. Because the gift I gave you is really my plan to buy and win you over so that you can be in my camp, so that you can love me. When you start looking around, you will notice how prevalent this kind of selfish love is. It hides almost everywhere, deeply engraved in natural love, in varying degrees. Natural love is a disappointment because it regularly fails you. Perhaps you counted on your dad for a loving relationship. Perhaps you trusted so and so to truly love you, only to be let down. The truth is, natural love will never fill the void in your heart. Oftentimes you will only be loved if you perform. If not, then they will quickly find someone else that can achieve. Much, much more can be said about natural love. But in short, trusting in people to love you will prove to be a costly mistake. The second type of love we will talk about is the love that comes from God. It is the love that is not commonly experienced and most people don't even know that they don't know about it. We read in 1 John, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In contrast to natural love, there is a love that is of God, that comes from God, shown by God, taught by God. It is a gift from God. The love that is from God is nothing like natural love. It is pure. It is eternal. It is great. It is holy, it is supernatural, it is fulfilling. Do you truly know the love that comes from God? If you are tired of fake and cheap love, why do you rely so much on mere humans to fill the void in your life that can only be filled by God? Let us pray together. Father, show me and teach me the love that comes from you. Forgive me for trusting in people to love me. Father, please open my eyes to see your beautiful love. Journey together with us as we delve much deeper, truly seeking and growing in the greatest love of all, the love that God has for us, the love that comes from God.